All right. My name's Tom, and today I'm going to be talking about things and stuff with my friends Megan and Picard. Uh, Picard is a freelance video games journalist. Megan is a human female. Welcome to Say. I'll start then. All right, so go I was on. telling Megan before we started, I started watching a great sci-fi show. Tell me about on it. On sci-fi. Yeah. Wait for the night, you ready? Legend Quest. Legend, <laughs> good, all right. Sounds yeah. good already, it's, right? That's like, that, it does sound sci-fi-like, yeah. So imagine Indiana okay. Jones. Okay, gotcha. Or Uncharted, mm-hmm. but real life. Good, yeah. What with you. Yeah. With an idiot American trying to find ancient relics. Fantastic, so was, like. Is it basically the odd couple Indiana Jones. Yeah, that sounds good. <laughs> like idiot, idiot abroad mixed with <laughs> some sort of Lara Croft. Lara Croft abroad. Speaking of which, yeah. I have been playing a bit more of Lara Croft. You have been playing because, the Tomb Raider, yeah. You've had that for years. It, yeah. After I bought it the day it came out, I got stuck on the first level. Yeah. It's like, you, no. <laughs> you, you got stuck on the first puzzle of the game and you didn't touch it since. No, so that's good. But I'm at. I can't remember where I got to. I was at like um, the relicy bit. There's the scary. <laughs> the entire <laughs> the game bit. is the relic. No. Yeah, that one relicy bit they've got. No, the, yeah, um, that's it. the monastery. The first. Yeah. Monastery. Is it all... on fire yet? I don't know. <laughs> Spoilers. <laughs> I don't think so. Because it very soon will be. Pretty much no, there's that. that you know the yeah, big creepy guy that's like fire. way taller than any man should be. And he's right. like dragging around like a leg or something. Awesome. So, oh, yeah, I vaguely... And it was, about, it was about nine o'clock at night and it started getting dark and I was like, no, like, no, no, no let's no. run into this now. Get rid of that, don't want that. With Legend Quest, Tell yes. me more. what was the sort of, like, the storyline of the first... Was there any cliffhangers no, left at the end? No, but or? They, they searched for two objects. They searched for Excalibur right. Right, and good. the... I want to say Chitauri stone, but Chitauri's marvel. Good. It's some stone beginning with C cool. that was in Uncharted at one point. Okay. Is, now hold on, right? Yeah. Is this, you, you said, like, is this real life? I was it's literally a documentary. About to... It's a documentary of a guy looking for Excalibur. Okay, right. Is it a documentary or a mockumentary? It's a documentary. It's a documentary. But so it's definitely okay. horribly scripted. So it's a real, a real life guy, like most haunted, like a real life guy actually looking for Excalibur. Yes. Good. And okay. he thought he found it, but the, okay. the better one was the second Spoilers, one. Spoilers, he didn't. I'm a lot, I'm a lot more well, interested in the show now. He found a rusty old sword in yeah. a museum in England, and he went, this could be Excalibur. We've well, got tons of those. <laughs> this could be Excalibur. Say, haven't all... you got one? Yeah, I've got, you I've got, got one in my room. I have a rusty sword in <laughs> my room. Exactly. Maybe it's Excalibur. We've gone we've on a it's... long journey to find it. He went to France and back to London. Why did he go to France? Because apparently it was lost in France. Like Lost in Space. <laughs> lost in France. Lost Matt, in Space too. <laughs> Matt LeBlanc France. gets Lost in France. <laughs> so he, Gary, it's really upsetting that Gary Oldman was in there. Mm. Let's Poor just, Gary let's Oldman. Just let's just glaze over that. Just a good oh, yeah, good. But apparently he found time. Excalibur. Good. So he wasn't sure. Well, no, he, okay. said, he said he found it. Good. <laughs> but the second one was the best one because they went to the Philippines to search for this Chinari... Ch- 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 Chinari... Ch- Ch- Kamari stone. Kamari stone. Kamari stone. Um, Good. And apparently lots of people looked, tried to find it in the past in Shambhala. Which Good. Which is a made up, definitely not real city. Okay, awesome. Yeah. Um, is it ever real? Probably not. No. Okay. No, but probably... all these people went to look for it. The Russians, Nazis, yeah. Americans went to look for it in the Himalayas. Cool. And he said, well, they wouldn't find it there because it's a tropical city. Right, and that, but so first off, it's a made up <laughs> city that everyone thought was in the Himalayas, and he's like, no, mate. It's in the. So how it's did in he. in the Philippines, apparently. Right. So he went to the Philippines. Cool. With his crew of three other people. Great. And he wanted to find out where the stone was and where Shambhala was. Mm-hmm. So he asked the village elder. Who is the cool. lover of all knowledge? I bet, I bet he was the not elder. at all insulted by this. <laughs> <laughs> the village elder was a guy in sandals and socks sitting under some corrugated iron. Good. <laughs> he sounds like the kind of guy that is that wise. You'd want to take He's a modern day elder. From. Yeah. And his advice was the stone you're looking for is big. <laughs> it's big. Nailed it. Now, I saw some news as of late. Mm. Um, Bioshock movie, right? They're, because they were going to make a Bioshock movie, mm. and they were going to get Gore Verbinski to do it, right. who's the Pirates of the Caribbean dude. Right? Okay, thank you for the yeah, just, just the that. explanation. So I'm just thinking there's a female in the room. Yeah, like <laughs> let's let's 
Yeah, no, so... Bioshock is a game. Bioshock is a game, and they were going to make a movie of it, and they were going to get Gore Verbinski to direct, and he was like, basically, needs to be R-rated, epic, badassery, murder times, right? Mm -hmm. Right. And everyone was like, yeah, sounds great, sounds great. And all the companies, Sony, I think, were going to make it, and Sony were getting really excited about it. And then Watchmen came out, and... Obviously, Watchmen was a big budget, like 200 million R rated movie, mm. and it bombed. Uh, even though it's really good, mm-hmm. really good film, it bombed, and no one went and paid money for it. So, Sony went, well, we'll just put it on the shelf. Um, and, <laughs> Forever. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Did they back away slowly? Yeah, they were like, whoa, <laughs> regrets. So, now there's rumours going around again. Sony have been registering all these domains saying, oh, Bioshock the movie. And it's like, are they are they <laughs> I mean, going to have another crack at the big proper one, or are they going to just be like, oh, we'll make a PG thirteen? Well, it's one of those things. Featuring Rob Schneider. <laughs> like, Rob Schneider in Bioshock. I would love to see. <laughs> Rob would you kindly <laughs> be a character? <laughs> <laughs> kindly be a shtick. Um, the thing yeah. Is, the thing is, like, they're going to make a Bioshock movie anyway, so maybe yeah, Sony, much. maybe Sony don't even have an idea yet. They're just like, well, it's going to happen. So yeah, it's like we're let's just, just make the domain name in now. future. Yeah, it's that Why? sort of thing. Not all, <laughs> not all games need to be made into movies. No, no Depends how they're going to do it as well, movies. I guess. I mean, if they just remake the first game, yeah. that'll be pointless. Because so I'd quite like to see more, more of Ratchet. I, I want to see like the rise of Andrew Ryan. I want to see mm. him building Rapture and making it, it his great underwater nation that would be hype as shit it was a game in an underwater city run okay. by a guy called Andrew Ryan I know there is a game there is Bioshock. a game there are two there are three games called Bioshock yes. um, with it, in, with increasingly larger numbers on the end is of Bioshock the, the one with the little girls yes, uh, yes. Okay. The, little, the little sisters and the big daddies. I was going to say the which, big daddies but you know when it's like yeah, I think no, I know that's that big, big daddies <laughs> are hype and then I haven't played. I played one and two. It's and really good. I infinite. I never got round to. And the DLC. The um, there's a rapture one, isn't there? Yeah. Under the sea that. thing. Burial sea. sea. That's the one. Burial sea is really sea. good. That's. <laughs> is it basically that's just Sebastian the Crab? Not <laughs> Sebastian, <laughs> Sebastian the Crab is a little. Do you play like Bioshock <laughs> as Sebastian the Crab? As if that wouldn't be the best. As if you wouldn't do it. Oh my God! Could you imagine? <laughs> Um, but, but yeah, that barrel yeah. seed shows you a bit of rapture yeah. before it all goes. And that's cool. super shit. That's the way it's it should shit. be. I, oh no, but it's not super. I shit. like to think that at some point rapture was really classy, like the kind of place. You, but someone needs to make a rapture themed Vegas hotel. Could you imagine how fun that would be? Like an entirely underwater hotel. Granted, they would have to artificially port the water in because you know it's in a desert. But right. So am I under the understanding that you want to? Th- what swim underwater and sleep underwater and no no that's drowning yeah, I, was <laughs> I don't want to do that like, I don't no. really understand your no concept. it's a hotel well so it's a what, city like the walls? but it's the, yeah it's under it's an underwater city but it's not oh, right, like so it's enclosed yeah it's not, not like, it's an enclosure not like yeah. a mermaid town it's <laughs> it's actually got like glass I reinforced know, be, I think walls. I'd be more up for the mermaid well, town mermaid town sounds pretty hype <laughs> yeah but um could it be called mermaid town mermaid town mermaid town is the prequel to Bioshock you heard it here first. Coming soon. There you go. Summer. Safe House presents Bioshock Zero Mermaid Town. <laughs> Mermaid Town. Best game ever. ever. On the subject of movies. Yes. Godzilla. Godzilla mm. is a thing. They put a new picture out of Godzilla on Fangoria. And it's hype. It's good. You haven't seen I it. I haven't seen it. You haven't like seen it. it. Where's my thing? I've got a thing with it on. Okay. Uh, got the thing. That is the... Fangoria thing. <laughs> he looks metal as shit, right? What? He looks so metal. He's and that's right. the new one. That's the new Godzilla. Because that don't... looks like the old Godzilla. It looks like proper Godzilla, not Matthew Broderick Godzilla. I was going to say, yeah. Matthew Broderick didn't play it. Godzilla, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> For anyone who hasn't Although, seen... that would be a movie I would soon. watch that. <laughs> like, like where they got Benedict Cumberbatch to do the mocap for Smell. Just, mm. It's just Matthew Broderick, but actually... They're not even mocapping, just in just a suit. Just his face. <laughs> just Matthew Broderick in a dinosaur, like, on a dinosaur onesie. That's the thing about it, it though. Because, like, yeah. the most recent... Obviously not this one, but the yeah. most recent Godzilla, yeah. it was just a dinosaur. Dinosaur, am I under the impression Pretty really? Much. Like, well, you didn't really see it, did you? you just kind of saw its eye. 
Um, what did you see? I it? don't remember. Uh, it was so long before. ago. Well, it was that was the Matthew Broderick one. Was the most recent one. Yeah, wasn't it? yeah. yeah it, it was the the. I don't even know. There was some sort of. I remember there was a big footprint and Jean Reno was in it. And there was lots of eggs. There were eggs. I remember. Like they set up like there was going to be a sequel with lots of mini Godzillas, <laughs> and then they didn't make it because it was bad. <laughs> because it was awful. It was well, bad. I also remembered Jume- the Jamera Choirs. Yes. Yeah, that is a fantastic. <laughs> that was a good song. That was actually one of my favourite Jamera Choir songs. So, it was my favourite. Yeah. Song. So it's like fair enough. That film at least gave us a sweet Jamera Choir film. It gave song. us. Song. Going through the underground. Yeah, the vi- the music video is weird. So it's yeah, but my dad songs. ensured that video. Yeah, that's hype. Because he's walking along the sea. He wasn't is. He? Yeah, claim to fame that is. Well, that's by it. association. No, you need to get get JK on the show. We'll have him as a guest. <laughs> my dad ensured your music video in 1997. <laughs> yeah. Please be on the Will you be on our YouTube show? <laughs> yeah, right. He's got nothing else to do. I said, going back to speaking of things that we've just watched, like, yeah. you know when you kind of watch an advert and you're like, oh, well, Sky One are obviously trying to ram this down my throat. Cool. Is Good. it 24? It's not 24, although they are oh, trying to ram that down my throat at the moment. 24. But no. the one that I had was a programme called Starcrossed. I which, know of that. Which is basically, right, okay, so Twilight's a thing. Oh, could it not Still? be? Still? <laughs> could it not be, Let, Let's make the same kind of thing, but aliens? So, so the basic premise is yeah. that it's a um, there was there was once there was aliens once. Cool, yeah, this one time. And their ship crash landed onto Earth. Yeah, good. And um, like some of them escaped and they were trying to run away and stuff like that. But they, the army was trying to uh, yeah get them and call them off and whatever. Cool. And what they did was well, the start of it is that there's a girl, hmm. little girl who's like five, and a little boy who is an alien. Right, And good. the little girl was like hiding. The alien boy, but they yeah. they find him and take him away, and she's under the impression that he's died. Okay. Now, flash forward, cool. say 13, 14 years, where oh. they're both in high school. High school, high school kids. And um, they're they're doing this Good. um new thing where they're like, right, we're gonna let the aliens go to school at the same school, right? As the humans. Yeah. And lo and behold, there was there is love. The boy between... that she. Uh, she saved. Yeah. Is there. Was... So yeah, basically, and there's just kind of loads of weird things in it where it's like, oh yeah, by the way, also the alien's blood cures all illness. My, that sounds useful. Yeah. So like the girl's friend had cancer. Cool. And now she Not doesn't for have long. cancer. Yeah. So. Is it a one-off or is it? A... Oh no, it's like a proper. It's like a whole. Where's going... the drama? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. It's like, it's like it's there are aliens. They go to school. They go to school. It's it's going to yeah. be Dawson's Creek. Well, it's, it's <laughs> basically racism. Oh but no, not, not racism. racism. Yeah, because like right. the humans racism, don't like the aliens. Humans don't like aliens. Stay out of our high school. Yeah. So stay away from Good. our women. No so it's thing, yeah. So. so it's uh, it's it's basically didn't um, District Nine already do this? Yeah. I, yeah. I was gonna say it's I, I don't racism think it's a with new aliens. <laughs> yeah, no, racism with aliens has been done. Um, and probably considerably better but because the, 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 mm, best thing about it, the best thing about it was that yeah. Yeah. for like a week they were like yeah watch Starcross it was on you know like every advert break it's yeah. on like 24 is at the moment it's like on every single ad break and then after the first episode I haven't seen an advert for it since <laughs> yeah <laughs> so that was like, well. obviously no one cares like yeah. they, they put all their advertising into like right build it up then hope people get hooked yeah spoilers I've, I they watched, didn't I watched two episodes and it's on Series Link, mm. and I haven't opened the folder since. Good, so good. Probably on Series Link. Now. Yeah, that's probably for the best. If we're discussing bad things, they're going to be. Oh, well, yeah, if we're discussing <laughs> bad things, we're talking about Avril Ravine. Well, not. Uh, <laughs> I wouldn't say Avril Ravine as a whole. Just as a. Because, you know, as a complicated a skater um, boy. Even Girlfriend. They yeah. were songs, although Girlfriend was plagiarised. It, was, it, was, it turned out it was actually just someone else's song, and she just changed the words a bit. Um, what? Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> Scandals. Yeah, turns out Avril Lavigne steals things. I, I based um, my whole look on that video for like it's, a year. Yeah, yeah, no, it was... Um, I basically just, you know, all three of the girls? Yeah. I basically just chopped and changed. Just, yeah, just like like when you used to get those those little flip books and you can flip over the heads That's and the bodies and the I legs. Had, well, because yeah. obviously I had the glasses. Yeah, so, so you had the sort of the... I mainly went for the all black with the white t-shirt, or well, the white long sleeve t-shirt underneath. Good. The one who was like, hey, I don't like your girlfriend. I don't like your girlfriend. That one. I obviously had the glasses of the girlfriend. Yeah. And then when I went out, I went for the the blue t-shirt with the, the, the pink in the hair. Mate. 
Yeah. So basically, you were just. <laughs> that's basically like a snapshot of my life. Yeah. For about a year. <laughs> so good. So Avril Lavigne's stolen music is your <laughs> the, the basis. Your <laughs> raison d'être. Good. And but, you just and you just ruined that. Yeah. Me, sorry. So spoilers. Um, but I really, really hope you don't follow suit no. with the new song. Because I'm really worried no. because I'm thinking that people might think that people because of my see, glasses. See the glasses and, like, and be like, oh I, I organized, no. I, I had these organized yeah. before this happened and oh, now it's, it's like... It's a bad time. As it's... long as you don't get the Skrillex hair she's gone for. Mm. Like... Yeah, what's with the whole like wub step and the wub bullshit? Step. Wow. It's like you're Avril Lavigne, <laughs> you do the pop even. punk. Is it? I read bad somewhere songs. online that she is huge in Japan apparently yeah, yeah. Like, which I can get because she obviously has stayed 16 for but the last 15 yeah. years <laughs> which you know which is fine they, like, they, you know, they're a fan of that either well you know I'm, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. each their own alright <laughs> yeah, just, yeah. just saying but just saying. Like, I get the whole because the, you know, yeah. the young look and she's very kawaii. colourful she is kawaii she is kawaii kawaii you know kawaii. in the video yeah. where it's got the words underneath about right. like what it means and the word ka 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 kawaii yeah I was under the impression that kawaii was just the word cute it's sort of adorable yeah because the translation was so 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 cute and I was like well, I, what? what? so what like so like kawaii was so cute as a word yeah. and the k was just so huh well good Avril Lavigne's teaching us Japanese <laughs> now my better half came home yeah and I said I think that you might want to see this you to, <laughs> because I mean you know you want to brace my, yourself he, you know likes, he likes his, his Avril Lavigne he does and uh, so I was like I think you might want to see are you sitting down I think you might yeah, brace want yourself. to see this and uh, I don't know where I was going with this now was it that he liked it because <laughs> against, well, <laughs> against all reason against all reason and his logic words, his words were I don't think it's that bad it was it was in this it's pretty way awful. It's it was pretty awful. Really bad. so he's like this yeah I don't think it's that bad. It's not, <laughs> look, it's got Avril Lavigne. She's moving around. There's Japan things. There are Japan's. <laughs> Pompeii is a thing that's happening. Let's talk about. Can we? Can we take I a moment? Haven't, Love I haven't never seen dies. you. <laughs> I haven't seen it. Well, I haven't seen You're, it, and I haven't seen any. You haven't seen the trailer. You consider anything. yourself lucky, right? Basically, Kit Harrington from the Game of Thrones. Is... And now tell me what uh, what character is yeah, he? Yeah, now this is right. I don't know if you've seen this. Now, obviously, Kit Harrington plays Jon Snow in Game of Thrones. Now, in on, on the Facebook advert for Pompeii, which is a new movie coming out, it's going to be bad. Yeah. Um, just <laughs> is that on the poster? That's yeah. So it's like <laughs> Pompeii. It's, it's going to be bad. It's like love conquers all except volcanoes. <laughs> it's generally <laughs> how it works. Tagline. So it's yeah, and it's. Um, the, the Facebook advert actually says Kit Harrington returns as Jon Snow. It's like, but... In, no. no, he doesn't. No. I don't think you quite understood <laughs> the sentence you just said there because Kit Harrington isn't returning as Jon Snow. He's, he's the actor who plays Jon Snow playing a different character. And, he's not... And the use of the word return would yeah. lead me to believe that he went somewhere he, as Jon Snow. He went away... And then he came back as, and it's like, well, no, it's a gladiator. Like, yeah, he came back as a Roman gladiator. Don't expect Game of Thrones to make sense. No, I think that's what I went in. Yeah. Thinking. Okay. Eventually, it will make sense. Eventually, <laughs> no, it won't. As someone who's read the books, it only gets weirder. Don't worry. <laughs> Trust me. In in about three or four episodes' time, you're all just gonna look at the screen and go, what? <laughs> What? Based on where we are now. Based uh, based on where you are now, right? Because I had this thing with the whole Red Wedding, because obviously I've read it, and mm. everyone's getting like, oh, season three, episode nine, I'm very excited, there's going to be a wedding. And I'm like, ah. <laughs> but, <laughs> but it's in, yeah. You're basically at home. I'm just sitting waiting, there. Wait, just, so, where, what time is it on well, nine? It, yeah, it was on nine. I started waiting for ten o'clock. Like, yeah, and just waiting, not watching Twitter just explode, like, yeah. what the fuck? Well, we managed to dance around spoilers for quite a while. We did. So We've not done bad. We haven't. We Tell everyone. Yeah, before we just go, hey guys, spoilers. No, no spoilers. <laughs> well, I think that about nails it. We've we've done, we've covered what? Avril Lavigne, yeah. Game of Thrones, yeah. Godzilla. Legend Quest. Legend Quest. <laughs> Always more Legend Quest. <laughs> we've I nailed it. Next time I'll next update time, you on yeah, the weekly updates um, on Legend Drake's Quest. 
Uncharted. Is that his name? No. No. I'm just well, that's from a Uncharted. Bad joke. Oh, okay. It's the Uncharted. You need to play Uncharted. You'd probably really like it Cause because it's basically Tomb it's probably gender swap Tomb Raider. One. Yeah, it's gender swap Tomb Raider. But yeah, that's about it. Um, we'll be back next week. We exciting. Sorry. So, Jack, what's this? I'm waving. <laughs> <laughs> There's violence, violence on this show. So yeah, we'll be back next week. So we'll look forward to seeing you next time. Feel free to. Do the like, comment, subscribe thing. I feel like a bell end for saying it. <laughs> like, yeah, like comment, no subscribe. Avoid There's not. no way to avoid saying it in such a way that you don't come off like a dick. So just sort of do, just do it, it and don't make me say it. <laughs> um, yeah, and we'll see you next week. Fucking bye. bye. bye.